Okay, in this video lectures, I would like to discuss the last part uh, in uh, pointer, which is uh, the concept number four, passing pointer to function in C. Okay, uh, and of course, uh, like I said before, uh, the the last um, the last concept which is number five, you can explore by yourself because. Uh, I I it, it uh, I find out that number five and uh, number four and number five seems to be almost similar, okay. But before we discuss further about uh, the concept number four, I would like to I think I forget to 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 give you some some information which is uh, the things that that you can do in order for you to declare your pointer, okay. Um, again. Uh, for, for, for this example, I think this example is a second example. Okay, when you want to declare the variables and then you declare the pointer, but in this, okay, if you see this part, okay, it's not just a declaring the variables, you also assign that variable with some number. And about the pointer, you are just declaring the pointer, but later you are declaring, or I'm sorry, you are defining, you are assigning the address of variables to that pointer so you can also do something which is almost similar with normal variable where with just one line like this you can declare as well as sign with some value so in pointer you can do that as well so um, of course uh, uh, to, to do that you just you know these two instruction can be simplified with single line where you just you declaring the the pointer as well you assigning with some address okay so how to do that is okay i just un, i just comment this part because i want to disable the instructions okay i disable the the instruction by by command that one and then what i do is just put it assigned okay my 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 aesthetic um ip is equal to uh address operator and my variables so that's that is uh how we do Okay, but we, we we try to declare the variables and assign that variable with the address at the same time, similar to uh, the normal variable like this. So uh, from here, the, the if you run the code, the result is still similar, meaning that the, the correct the, the, the code is not uh, is not wrong. So just I just want to show you, uh, you okay from these two instruction, you can simplify with one instruction where you declaring the variable as well as you assigning that variable with some address okay so that is uh, just to to know later when you find some coding do in this way then hopefully you don't you know you don't uh, get shocked or confused because that is you are declaring at the same time you assign it with some num number where that number is a dead address of your var Okay, now let's go back to this uh, concept number four, passing pointer to a function in C. Okay, passing pointer to a function in C. Okay, it is one of the, uh, I think I can consider important things because uh, the other word for, for passing pointer to a function in C, okay, uh, you need to relate, okay, this one is related to what we call as what are the difference between a passing so what what is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference okay you you can try to google that actually that is related to this concept okay um, okay let me try to google okay you just google pass by reference so what is the difference between pass by reference and pass by value of course um uh, this is one of the i can consider is one of the common uh question uh, not exam question is a one of the common question that have been asked in during the interview okay because um for those who are interested in programming okay later if you interested in you know joining the company and you want to to apply for the position that related to like programming programmers software engineers firmware engineers okay uh, i find out this is one of the common question will be asked during the interview what are the different between pass by value and pass by reference and actually this one is related to pointer 
Okay, you need to learn pointer, then you know what is the difference between pass and by value or pass uh, by reference. Okay, it's related to uh, function plus pointer. Okay, so uh, I I I I'm I, I, I'm saying like this because um, uh, of course because um, my background. Okay, I graduate as electronic engineering, and then when I graduate, I try to you know apply so many job related to because my my interested in my interested is in programming so that's why i i apply um, many job related to software engineering firmware engineering and you know uh, programmer and so on and then i find out uh, this is the common question that will be asked during the interview so make sure that if you interested in this position okay in this programming things make sure that you you prepare okay you can google that the information is there there's a lot of information that uh, discuss about the difference between pass and by value and versus pass by reference so uh, hope if you prepare that then you can answer the question so now let's me try to you know to try, try to find out what is pass by value and pass by reference okay uh, just put it pass by reference first Okay, pass by reference in I think can pass by reference in C. Okay, pass by reference is related to pointer. Pass by value is something which is without pointer. Okay, the normal function. Okay, we will discuss it. We will discuss that later. Okay, you can read this one. The, the from the www.totalreform.com is it's related. It's discussed about what is pass by reference. Okay, um, I will like to share the one from this website www.cs.utah.edu I think this one is, is good to, to discuss and compare between the pass value by value and pass by reference yep okay this website okay you go through the this the, the, the part where discuss, they discuss about this thing which is this one yep okay a function okay related to function and then you need to know that there's a two different uh, thing what is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference okay um before that okay what is pass by value pass by value means that a copy of data is made and stored by the way of the name of the parameter any change to the parameter have no effect on data in the calling function okay uh, I try to relate with the previous lecture related to function and I, I find out that uh, you have learned that the function have four aspect okay the four aspect of calling function number one is function without argument and without uh, written value the second one function without argument and with written value the third one function with argument and without a written value and the last one is function with argument okay and with written value the one that we want to discuss here which is pass by value what is this difference between pass by value and pass by reference is actually related to number number three okay okay just ignore the rest okay i just delete the rest okay it's related to number three okay the function uh, with argument with the input argument but without written value so if you uh, you know if you try to write some function without written value then you you, you will put void there eh? because there's no written value and then you just you know you just give the name to the function Let, let's say function number one and then with argument let's say my argument is integers x for example okay that is how I do my function and then I do some uh, some process there Okay, some process let's say I said s equal to 50 and then I I execute that and then there's no written value of course there's no written value because that is a function without written value okay so um, okay so uh, let's go try to relate with this this function actually this function is uh, the example of function that pass by value because when you call this function at the main function okay if you call this function at the main function i think it's better for me to to go to the example okay because the example also the the function is almost similar like this 
okay it's a, a function that uh, uh, the, the, the third aspect we are using the third aspect of the function where the function is with argument and without a written value okay uh, this is the examples okay as you can see we have one function called do it want and then this function does not have any written value and then uh, the input argument is integer x and then in inside this function it's only you know assign this integer x with number 5 okay and then this is the main function okay when you call this function you can see that in main function we declare some variables z and we assign that z with 27 and after that we up call this function do it one and we pass this variable into uh, this function do it one and then if you run this code you will realize that okay okay in this function we just uh, to see what is the value of uh, our x here so uh, you can see that when we assign x equal to 5 and then uh, originally the x is actually equal to 27 because you pass a 27 here but once you inside this function when you, you assign uh, the x equal to 5 it will replace that 27 that's why when you print the x that will uh, result the x equal to 5 but after uh, after you um after the the, the 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 cpu going outside into this that function and back go back to main function back so this the the we um the next line we try to print the x at the z so now we can see z we try to print z so what will happen here we can see that z is the the the, the z value is 27 which is the original value here so meaning is that uh, what happened here is that even you pass z into this function and actually inside the function you are manipulating the z so now z become 5 but when you go outside this you, 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 you go back to the main function after you execute that function the z still maintain the original value which is 27 so why is this happen this is what we call as pass by value if you talk about the normal function without pointer that is if you talk about uh, the, the the one that uh, like i said before this is related to the function with um the function with argument and without written value and if you don't apply pointer then that is this is called a pass by value meaning that you just pass the value but when the value is go inside this function do it one actually inside this function it will create another local variable called x which actually x receive the value from the outside where the, the outside the, the outside value is come from z which is 27 but anything you do here will only effect on this local area okay but when you go outside that area it does not affect at all because you are only you know passing the 27 from z to x but later when you return the z is still remained what 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 uh, is there in what the original value is there because it's only you know just just you know just duplicate that value and then pass to x so that's why they call it this thing is passed by value so that is the definition that we have tried to discuss in uh, this website so pass by value means that a copy of data that met and store by the way the name of the parameter any change to the parameter have no effect to a data in a calling function meaning that the z does not any get any effect at all even you are manipulating the the value of z because once you pass the z into the function actually uh, the function itself will make a duplicate of that value and pass to the x so that's why anything happen will happen at the x but when you go back to the main function this z is still there it's still 27 not changed at all so that is the benefit of pointer when they try to the introduce with pointer and try to you know relate the pointer with the function then 
it be resulting what we call as a pass by reference okay what is pass by reference the ref a reference parameter refer to the original data of the calling function thus any change made to the parameter also change are uh, also made to the original variables meaning that anything you manipulating inside the 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 the, the, the function the function that create will affect at the the variable at the main function okay that is how we do e, what that is different between pass by value and pass by reference so how to do pass by reference in this example okay i i will show you okay so let me just you know copy one function here okay this is how we do pass by uh, reference i just you know i just create another function called uh, do it to okay do it to will do the same thing as do it one but you can see the difference is that now i don't pass the variables i pass the pointer that's why there's a asterisk values there and then now anything you want to manipulate with this one you must have the asterisk because we want to you manipulate the value not the address so that's why we put the asterisk x there okay and then in the main function okay what you do is that okay i just change this one into do it to i call the do it function too and then now instead of z i i give it uh, the address of z okay that's why i put the 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 address operators there okay you can see the different there's a difference there okay if i run this code okay now you see that okay when i call this do it i call do it to i pass the address of z meaning that now this pointer is hold the address of z and anything i i manipulate in uh, pointer will affect the 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 original address there which is the z so that's why when i print of course i get uh, the x equal to 5 but surprisingly when i print the z at the main function i find out the z now is equal to 5 which is follow the function that we have created here I would follow the statement that we have created here so this is the example of pass by reference so by using by using a pointer in that pass to the function actually you are even you this is this is only applicable for 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 the function without return value okay the return value is another thing the function without return value can also change any parameter that pass through this one as the input argument if you pass the pointer type not the variables okay so so that's that's the difference there okay by changing from the normal value a uh, normal variables into pointer then it's it's also changed the name this one is passed by value this one is passed by reference so later uh, hopefully you can try to read about this uh, the definitions there because of course like i said before this is the the, the ma one of the common question that have been asked in during the interview if you would like to ha if you like to apply the job related to software engineer firmware engineer because i i i think i also attend you know uh, some big company like uh, FPGA, I'm sorry, Altera okay, Altera I think, Altera is now is under Intel, okay, when I, I I try to apply as a software engineers firmware engineers there, this is one of the common questions that they, they ask uh, first they ask you to you know, to to give a problem, they, they want you to write the C program for that, that problems and then the the next question they ask what is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference so hope you uh, uh, you you can prepare yourself if you interested in you know doing the job in programming later